what you choose may not be in line with your parents' choices. How to have what I want without paying a price? There is no such life. We must evaluate, do I want to pay this price or I am not willing to pay this price? This is individual. We see quite a generation gap between our generation and our parents' generation and it sometimes so happens that hey, we… No, not me, huh? no gap between you and me. <laughs> I'm much younger than you <laughs> It sometimes so happens that we want something out of our life and they don't necessarily agree with it and we end up in a conflict. And we sometimes even curb our desires just to see them happy. So how do we deal with that conflict? See, uh, Please sit down, thank you. Uh, <laughs> this is not a problem with your generation, this is a problem unfortunately with every generation. I think it's very silly that every generation has the same problem. If we are in a learning mode, at least we must have a new problem, <laughs> isn't it? Every generation has the same problem. Though they were also youth just twenty-five, thirty years ago, somehow they suddenly act like they landed, just like as they are today. <laughs> so, because your parents are not here, I can't talk to them, so we'll talk to you <laughs> If you want to craft your life the way you want, and what you want, if it's not in concurrence with your parents or the society in which you live in or the university in which you're studying, it can happen. What you choose may not be in line not only with your parents' choices, may not be in line with your peers' choices, may, be, may not be in line with the institution's choices, may not be in line with the society in which you live. So if you want to do your own thing, you must understand there will be a price to pay. Only thing you're complaining about is how to have what I want without paying a price. There is no such life. If you want to do what you want and if what you want is not in line with the larger interests of what is around you, then they will make you pay a price. If what you want means so much to you, you must pay the price. But if you find the price is too much for what little you want to do, you will step back naturally. It is like going to the market, you know. You went and uh, want to buy a few flowers, that guy says two thousand bucks for flowers. You say, no, I want flowers, but no, because he's asking too big a price. This is so with every step in our life. When we want to do something, there will be a price attached to it. We must evaluate, do I want to pay this price? What I want, does it mean so much to me that I'm willing to pay this price? or I am not willing to pay this price. This is individual. There is no standard treatment for everybody. This is individual. Some people want it so badly, they are willing to pay any price. For some people it's a passing interest, so they will drop it and they'll go on. There's nothing wrong with both. Both are fine. <laughs>